Hi! Thanks for watching. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video, but I have one for you today and this is going to be a recent purchases video. So basically things that I bought, um, I didn't necessarily buy these all like super recent, but it's just things that I haven't got a chance to show you yet. Um, one purchase that is, this is probably the oldest one, I keep meaning to show this to you, but I keep forgetting, but I bought uh, from Pacifica, I bought a body wash that is grapefruit mango. I already used a bunch of it, so I've had it for a while, but this smells so good. Um, I love the scent of it, but it really doesn't last at all, so I mean, it's a good body wash, but not if you want the scent to linger. Um, and then I bought two of their spray perfumes, and these do last. These are really good. Um, and they're also natural. They use natural, um, like essential oils and stuff to scent their uh, fragrances. So they don't have phthalates and stuff like that. And the body wash doesn't have sulfates. So it's a really um, natural brand. And these smell so good. Um, this first one is French Lilac. And I love the smell of lilac. So this was one of those that I was just like, I absolutely have to get because it smells so good. And then this one I wanted to try. I actually ordered online. So... Um, I tried the other two in the store, or I smelled them, but this one they didn't have in stores yet, so I just took a chance and ordered it from the internet, and it was called Persian Rose, or it is called Persian Rose, and this is actually a really good one. I was a little bit worried because sometimes rose scents can be a little bit musky and like really heavy, and this isn't like that. It's, you know, it's pretty light and, and floral, and it does smell just like rose, and the other one smells just like lilac, so... If you like those scents, these both smell delicious. And I bought two kits uh, from Sephora. First one is Buxom Armed and Gorgeous. And it has three pencils. Oh, and it has a little brush that I didn't bring to show you, but it's just a, um, a standard little pointed brush. But the three pencils that are in here um, look like this and they're dual sided and they're a little bit thicker I'll swatch them for you they're called waterproof smoky eye stick and so this one is slingshot and stiletto and this is my least favorite one the colors are really pretty but they don't come off quite as good as um, they look so this darker one is stiletto and the lighter one is slingshot and I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell I try to get my camera to really zoom in and focus but basically problem with these two is can you see my skin through them they're like a little on the sheer side and I kind of swatched them heavy I don't want to have to do layers with my eyeliners I mean they're not bad but just the other ones have better color payoff so let me show you the other ones so this one is called it has a silver shade called switchblade and then a black shade called smoking pistol oh and they they're pretty thick they look like that and they come with a little sharpener so if your tip gets um, flat you can sharpen it back up I really like the silver switchblade shade these are really soft and they really glide on like butter so you can see the pigmentation especially with this silver much better really really like the silver and it's a little bit darker too it's not like a light silver as you can see like when I'm holding it like this just when the light shines on it, it looks light, but I actually have it on my eye today as eyeliner, so it doesn't look super light. It's dark enough to use this eyeliner. Um, and then we have 2x4, which is a brown and torch, which on this picture, it kind of looks gold, right? Like a light gold, but it's actually darker than that. It's more of a... Uh, bronze color 
And the problem, I don't know if you can see this, it's a little bit, got a little bit smushed, is these get smushed at the top. There's like not enough room. So you have to make sure like after you use it, you wind it down even more so there like barely any of it is sticking out. Otherwise it's gonna get smushed in the top. And this one is really good. The brown in here is really pigmented. So there you have it. Just got it for um, these fun silver and bronze colors. I think these will be really nice to wear. So I think that's a pretty good set. It's $29. So I think that's a good deal considering you're getting six colors and a brush. And these are really budge proof. I don't know if they've dried yet, but yeah, they've dried. So they're, um, they stay on really well. They last really well in my eye too. And then I got another set that looks like this and it's called Big and Bright Eyeliner. Spotlight on Big and Bright Eyeliner. And it had the same little brush which again, I forgot. I just like kind of put the brushes away. And I really liked the primer in here. It's called Opal, Brightening Opal, and it's not sold separately. It's only sold in this kit, and I really wanted to get it. So I kind of got the kit just for this primer, which I know may sound like a waste. It's $26, and this is like the tiniest little primer too. It's so little, but it's so cute. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty, um, almost like iridescent pink. Sorry, just give my camera just a minute there to focus. There it is. And it's a little on the sheer side. Oh, there you go. Now you can see the light hitting it. Isn't that so pretty? It's a little bit on the sheer side, but I like to mix it with their Brightening Pearl, which is, um, it looks kind of like champagne when you're squeezing it out of the tube, but when you put it on, it's pretty much a white um, color. And so I like to, you know, either mix the two together or just apply this over top of the other one, and that way um, it just looks better because otherwise it's a little bit sheer. And it comes with mascara, which I haven't tried yet but it's their Flawless Definition Mascara. I look forward to trying it. I just have so many other uh, mascaras right now, but it has a little rubber, one of those rubber brushes. And it comes with an eyeliner, big and bright eyeliner in slate and in black iris. Slate is a gray. These are um, fine. The tip of these is small compared to those buxom ones I just showed you. So slate is a gray and iris is a purple. And here they are here. Slate, iris. Um, these are not budge proof. I mean, they're not dry yet, so I can't, um, they're going to be super smudgy, but they're not as uh, waterproof and budge proof as the other ones. And I don't think it claims to be or anything. Yeah, it doesn't even say, like, the other ones say waterproof on them, so. All right, so that's that. And then I got, oh, I got one of these Bird's Bees, uh, what are these called, lip shimmers? Because they came out with a few new colors, and this one's called Strawberry, and so I wanted to try it. There was another new color called Cherry and I believe plum. I think there's three new colors. And look at this. What wasteful packaging. They used to be just like this, you know, on their own. Uh, you know, maybe wrapped in, in like a clear, uh, you know, seal or whatnot. But now they're in this whole package. So I don't know why they're starting to do that because they're one of those companies that's, you know, all about no animal testing and all natural ingredients and it's funny because this says that it's 35% uh, you know, post-consumer content. So this is like made from recycled stuff, but isn't it better just to not even have paper than to have it and have it be recycled? I don't know why they started doing that. And this is what it looks like. It's just a shimmery light pink, frosty, frosty light pink. So. 
It's a pretty color. It's kind of what I was hoping guava would be if you have tried their uh, one of these that's called guava because that one is a little bit lighter or maybe it just looks lighter but it has a lot of glitter in there and this one has shimmer but it's more fine so I like it better than the guava. Let's see what else I got. I got this eye primer from Laura Mercier, as I was corrected <laughs> when I tried to call it Laura Mercier. <laughs> um, I know, I can never pronounce any brands. <laughs> All the store people always laugh at me. And this is called Eye Basics, and the color I have is cotton, which is a very light um, yellow-toned skin tone color. This is what it looks like, and I wanted to show you before I blend it, and now I'll blend it out. You can see that. It doesn't have any kind of shine, or it's just pretty much completely matte. Uh, basically what it is is just eyeshadow primer, but it has some color to it. So if you want to hide any discoloration on your eyelids, you want to even out their color, you want to brighten them up a little bit, because this is a pretty light color, so even for me, it's lighter than my skin tone, so it just kind of brightens out this whole area and, you know, evens out. Um, my eyelids are a little bit darker than my skin, or maybe they look that way from, you know, the shadow that forms there. But I really like it in terms of color and in terms of you know it being kind of a useful product because you can almost use it as just like a matte eyeshadow itself over your eyelid and you kind of get the effect of you know if you put concealer on your eyelid um, so I really like that this is a good color for me um, this does crease on me not right away but after a couple of hours it will crease on me so it's not the best primer uh, for me personally but I um, have a lot of trouble with eyeshadows creasing usually but I really I do like it and I will get use out of it I just wear it um, you know like going to the store or for a quick look it's really great because it's you know quick and easy and it's just like a one-step um, process so I will use it but it you know not the best if you want all day eyeshadow hold then I got Ooh, I, I got from a swap. I keep forgetting to show you. I really like this. This is Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation from Tarte. And this is a really good foundation. My color is fair. It's kind of neat because it feels really light, almost like it's whipped or something. And then when you put it on, it like, I don't know, it feels like it's like turning to powder. It like dries. It's really cool. And it's really, really lightweight and really kind of smooth. I don't know. So I like it. It's, I wouldn't call it full coverage. It's pretty sheer coverage. Uh, you know, maybe sheer to medium. It can be built out, but definitely not full coverage. But uh, I mean, I, w I don't really usually go for full coverage anyway. I like the lighter coverage. I have it on today, actually. I also have powder and stuff on top. But I really do like it. Um, I like how lightweight it is. I like that it's not greasy. I don't know if it has or if it is indeed oil free, but it feels like oil free because it, it just doesn't feel oily or greasy at all. And it's really nice and I like Tarte um, products because they are, they tend to be more natural. So it has SPF 15 and it's a natural sunscreen. It's a non-chemical sunscreen. It's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So like this and another tart item is this cheek stain I also swapped for this this is natural beauty and it's just a red color and to be quite honest I haven't used this too much I really wanted to have a uh, cream blush of some sort and you know this one looked appealing because I like Tarte and I like that how natural this one was. This one especially, the natural beauty one, um, doesn't have like dyes in it where I think some of the other ones do. That's why I got this shade even though it's, I usually wouldn't get like a red. I usually would go for more of like a pink or a peachy color. But um, 
it's okay. It's pretty decent. It actually turns kind of pink when you blend it out. Although that might be because I'm blending it out over the <laughs> on this primer because <laughs> I have it right there. But I wore it once. I have trouble with cream blushes. I, you know, blending them and um, I tried, you know, with a brush, with my finger, with, you know, a sponge. The problem with cream blushes for me is that my skin, when you rub it, turns really pink or red. And so when I'm blending it, even if I'm doing it with a brush, because, you know, it's, you're not really applying like a lot of pressure with a brush, it, my skin tends to turn kind of pink. So I can't really tell where I put the cream blush and where I haven't put it. And I have to like wait for my skin to like, unflush so I can see if I blended it out good or not so it just takes longer so I I really should try it some more though and try and get um, get more use out of this then I got um, two more products from kiss my face potent and pure line I really like this line I mentioned it a lot I have a bunch of their products already Got the Botanical Acne Gel and the Ester C Serum. See the change. Ha ha ha. See like the letter C. And this one is a pretty nice vitamin C serum. I've been really loving um, vitamin C serums. My favorite one is probably Awesome Sauce 